My name is Ralnar Sorensen. I've been on my own for most of my life. No family, no friends, no home. If I had to claim any place as home, it was Shore Stone. I grew up there as a child. My father worked in the mines. However, I couldn't live that way. So I left at a very young age and never looked back. Since then, I'd travel from place to place, taking odd jobs, making a few coins, then moving on. I finally found a job as a freelance sailor, working with different crews, loading ships with different cargo, traveling from port to port along Skyrim's northern border. And for the second time this month, we'd stocked our ship with precious cargo at Windhelm and headed for our first stop, Dawnstar. My crew looked a bit rough, even for a band of sailors, but with the Civil War raging, I couldn't afford to be picky. Halfway to Dawnstar, a fist fight broke out amongst the crew, and in the midst of the yelling and commotion, a pirate ship crept up on us. Before anyone could react, the ship was filled with brigands. And the last thing I remember is a drunken bandit mage blasting through the hall with a fireball. Now, I've awakened on this chunk of ice with only survival on my mind. Hello? Anyone? I'm Piers. I'm the only one that made it off the ship. The ship which is now, no doubt, the bottom of the sea. Along with every coin I had, and apparently, even my dagger. Hello? Is anyone out there? Can't be far from Winterhold. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. That must be the college I've heard so much about. Well, I have to get off this iceberg. I see a camp over there in the distance. Maybe there's someone there. <clears throat> Last thing I want to do is fall in here. What in the world is that? Uh, 
Someone didn't make it. Oh. Oh, I see wolves. I am not prepared to defend myself against them. Not now, anyway. There's a shrine of Talos. Perhaps he was looking over me the whole time. Oh, that's much better. And who may of you have been? Whoever you were, look like you've been here for some time. Some salt. Well, that could be pretty rare around these parts. I just want to take that with me. There's a note here. Shelly, your ship should have arrived weeks ago. And I fear the worst has happened. I've set up camp on this rock, as your ship should pass by here. And hopefully one of these days we'll be together again. If you're reading this, I'm probably out hunting. Or bringing in some supplies. I'll be waiting here, until I see your face again. Well, unfortunately for you, Shelley may have met the same fate as my crew long ago. Rest easy, friend. Hopefully you were reunited in death. shrine is there off in the distance. I don't know if that will be friendly or not, but I feel I need to make it to that shrine. I need to be careful. I don't want to run into any wolves. Easy, friend. I have no quarrel with you. I shall keep my distance. You keep yours. Great Talos, if it was you that spared my life, know that I am eternally grateful. I walked right by an axe. Not only do you spare my life, but you provide for me as well. Big and a big fan of two-handed weapons, but a two-handed weapon is better than none. And 
Nothing in here I really feel like I can use. I must make my way to Winterhold. And I must do it before I freeze to death. It appears I could take that path there. Feet are now soaking wet. There's nothing I can do about that. I need to move on, it appears. Well, luckily, the sun has decided to come out. Fox. More wolves. Easy, fella. Not looking for a fight. Perhaps if I can. Oh, there is another. Bite on them. <sighs> oh. Okay. I must press on. friendly or perhaps bandits I am not prepared for an altercation I don't think I want to find out I need to get to Winterhold Must warm up. Thank the divines.
you'd have me do what? Join the college and prance about casting spells all day? Don't just walk away from me. Where do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink, of course. Where else could I even go in this God's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. Speaking of the inn... The frozen hearth. How fitting. Sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. Well, I wasn't planning on it. I say, you didn't hear any loud noises last <clears throat> night, did you? No, uh, explosion sounds? <laughs> no, I certainly didn't. Is there a reason you're asking me? No, certainly not. A small experiment may have gone awry, but clearly with no discernible consequences. I see. And is this something I'll need to worry about in the future? Oh, certainly, I hope not. That would be quite unfortunate for my research. If there's anything you need, just let me know. If you're business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. I overheard something That's about right. the college. College of Interval, just north of town. Hard to miss. Well, what can you tell me about Winterhold? I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Winterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. She doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. Though even that's dragging. I see. Well, I'm also looking for work. Do you have any leads? Here. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. A bounty letter, eh? Well. Have you heard any other rumors lately? Have you heard about Aventus Aretino? He's a little boy. Lives in Windhelm. They say he's been trying to get in touch with the Dark Brotherhood. The Dark Brotherhood, huh? Well, thank you for your time. Good day. Well, I have no coins. Perhaps I could sell the battle axe? Make a couple coins? Pick up a weapon I'm more familiar with? Let's see this letter. By order of courier, to all able-bodied men and women of Winterhold, the bandits located in the fort Falhammer have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader. Well. I'm not watch for a bounty hunter. However, I do need food and a place to rest my head would be nice. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. Ranmere beg a drink from you yet? That's gold wasted, friend. What's wrong with Ranmere? He owes this tavern enough coin to burn it down, build it back up, then burn it down again just for laughs. 
He's had some troubles in his life, but I can't have him drinking here without at least paying back some of the coin he owes. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure we'll get our gold at some point. <laughs> Not like he has anywhere to go. Well, it's a nice place you have here. It's not much, but we get by. Very little money passes through Winterhold anymore. But if there's one thing you can count on, it's folks needing a drink now and then. A drink and a comfortable bed I could definitely go for. Is there a reason that it's so empty here? You mean the inn or Winterhold? Suppose it's the same answer either way. Winterhold's fallen on hard times to say the least. Most folk packed up and left years ago. A few of us are either too stubborn or too crazy to go, so we do our best to make a living. I... I see. Well, thank you for your time. See ya. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? I do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for anything. Uh, you must be Birna. I've heard of you. And why'd you set up shop in a place like this? Wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here, and nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. Do you get much business out this way? Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Uh, you said something about a bad deal. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Well, what's the story behind that? Some line about this claw thing in Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. <laughs> I can understand that. Well, I'll be seeing you around. Hmm. It may be cold, but those colors are beautiful. Well, the assumption, I suppose, is that her shop is closed for the day. Pardon me. Is there anyone else here to... Help me? It appears not. Well, unfortunately today it looks like I go hungry. What might this place be? Must be where the Yarl stays. Most likely off limits. Take a look around for a moment longer. And then I must get back into the inn. I can't afford a bed for the night, but perhaps they'll at least allow me to sleep in a chair.
appears the stories are true. We had heard that long ago that half of Winterhold had fallen into the ocean. It appears that it is true after all. isn't much, but maybe I could get a coin or two for them. A couple pieces of honeycomb that aren't completely frozen. I don't know if it is of any value, but I'll take them either way. Wow. something in some of these ruins that I could use. It appears it used to be a shop. I wonder if there's anything still here. It appears not. Unfortunate. Oh. Weather is so bitter. Assume that the guards don't want me snooping around here.
Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll do that. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. Uh, thank you. I say if there's anything you need, just let me know. Night, what do you have for sale? Let's save that appetite, huh? And take this wheat and the salt. little short. Um. I'll take a red apple if you don't mind. No, certainly not. A small experiment. What does this look like? The Temple of Mara? With no, no gold, no bed. Oh, understood. Oh, certainly. Thank you. I hope not. That would be All right, then. fortunate for my research. Well, instead of getting the apple, perhaps I should have spent that gold on a bed. No matter. I'll just sit over here in a corner. Irid's been playing Hunt the Elf again. Hmm. It's just children playing hard. Yeah. I wouldn't fret over it. I'm not fretting. I don't want Irid I'm definitely tired. Alright, alright. But at least I'm alive. Cold. Wet. Hungry. But alive. Even if I can just get a few moments of sleep. I'll pick this up in the morning.